Hey everybody, this is Peter again from the Ultimate WordPress Guide and today's video is going to be all about Tidy Cal. So I discovered this recently on AppSumo and you may be familiar with tools that are similar to this like Calendly and Doodle and what it basically is is a meeting, booking, scheduling calendar that integrates and plays well quite nicely with, uh, with a few other tools and integrations. I'm going to tell you what it's all about. And on AppSumo, if you go there today, you can purchase the lifetime deal for only $19. And if you look at what's included in the lifetime deal, so pretty much as it says, lifetime access to the lifetime plan and also all future lifetime plan updates. Now, if I head over to the TidyCal website just for a moment, um, and I head over to the pricing area. They've got a free version as well, which is pretty powerful. Out of the box, you can have unlimited number of meetings, unlimited number of booking types. It has got some limitations on the number of calendar connections that you can have. You can schedule free meetings, but not paid meetings. And it only integrates with Google Calendar and Office 365. And that's completely free. Now over to the lifetime plan that I've just talked about on AppSumo. Same thing, unlimited uh, number of meetings a month, unlimited booking types. You can have up to a maximum of 10 calendar connections, free meetings, and I can also accept paid meetings using gateways like PayPal and Stripe. And it can integrate with Google Calendar, 365, Zoom and Google Meet. So I've got some conferencing software in there as well, which I can integrate, which will automatically generate the links that I need. And if I need a couple of zaps, um, I can also integrate that with Zapier. And it's, like I said, $19, single payment, lifetime plan, dirt cheap. So let's jump into the back end. So I'm going to go into my TidyCal profile. I uh, bought this recently. And first things first here, you'll be brought to the booking types page. So here you can set up new or you can edit existing booking types. So I've got two booking types currently set up here. You know, I can switch them off or on depending on what, what I want to display or not. I can edit the existing booking type. So here I've got the event name, the event link. I can put in a description duration padding and I can specify my availability schedule days of the week hours I can add additional times yeah, morning session afternoon session and so on and here I can also ask one or more questions yeah, to the person that is scheduling this event and that's completely optional so depending on the, the nature of the session you're having you may decide that you want to ask the person a couple of questions while they're booking the meeting and then here I can charge for the event so here you can see it's currently in dollars but I'll show you when we get to the, the setting details is, uh, itself where I can customize this. So I can charge the event, I put a dollar amount and I've got one of two options, either PayPal or Stripe. So I'm going to head over to the integrations page just for a moment. Right at the top is your calendar integration. So I can integrate with a Google account, 365 account or an Apple account, which is currently not available but coming soon. But bear in mind, as I said, because you've got the lifetime plan, if you choose to buy it, you will get access to this as and when it does become available. So here you can integrate all your calendars. If I head over to the video conferencing tools, so I can add a conference link to all my bookings. I can specify either a static link if I'm using something other than Zoom or Google Meet. So I can paste that static link in or I can use Google Meet. It'll integrate with my Google Meet account or Zoom. I've got a Zoom account. I'm connected with my account already. So it'll just pull in and generate that link automatically. And then on the payment side, you've got your PayPal email and you've got your Stripe publishable and secret key. And right at the bottom, you have your Zapier automation. I want to head into my account settings for a moment just to show you what we've got there. So here you can customize the profile image. That's what will show on your booking calendar. I've got the booking page link, name, email address, time zone, time format, which can be set either to 12 or 24 hours. And then there are a couple of currencies. So you'll see there are a few to choose from. So if yours in particular is not here, hang tight, might be there in the future, depending on what the payment gateway support, but otherwise you can just use any of the ones that are available. And the same is there for the language as well. So there are a couple of supported languages. And then lastly, on the customization area, I can have a description. So if there's a particular prefix that I want to have, I can specify the theme color you know, to fit into your website design. And then there's some parameter that I can set around limitations of how near to the booking time that person can, can schedule a meeting. You know, so I can set this up there in either minutes or hours. 
and then I can save my changes. Next up to the bookings area, this is the area where all of my bookings will display once I have uh, any bookings available. But let's go ahead to the website. I want to show you how easy it is to embed this into your Elementor website and then we'll come back to, to the bookings once we've done so. So I'm going to head over to booking types. Very simply, there's a link here that uh, allows you to embed this on your website. So I'm, I'm happy with you know how this is. Let's just quickly do a review. Yeah, 30 minutes meeting, these are the schedule. Don't want any questions. I'm not gonna charge for this event, this is gonna be free. So I'll just cancel out of this. And I'll click on the embed on your website. It generates a script that I can put into some HTML block in, in Elementor. So I'll go ahead and copy that code. And I'm gonna jump over to my Elementor website, which is just a blank page at this moment, the section with an empty column. And then I'm gonna go and grab the HTML widget and I'll paste that script that I've copied from the TidyCal website and I'll hit update. Over to the front end then, and there it is. Yeah, so I've got my 30 minute meeting. It is a free meeting. I can book, you've got your booking description. You can select the date, you can select the time, you can specify the details. So let's, uh, let's put a user in there. Let's say that is John's email and we'll book the event. Okay, so it'll send me an email, it'll send that person an email, and on the front end, here you can already see the integrated Zoom link. You can download this as an ICS file to import into your calendar, or you can automatically, because it's integrated, add this to your Google Calendar, Outlook, Office 365, or Yahoo Calendar. So if I jump over to my Google Calendar for just a moment, here you can see immediately there is the booking that has just been made by John and all of the details, including the Zoom link in there as well. If I go back to my TidyCal dashboard and I click on the bookings, let me just log in again. There you can see on the 28th of July, John Doe made a booking. It is currently scheduled. And from here, I can view a bit more details, which is pretty much all the details that are in the, the calendar entry as well. And from here, I can go ahead and cancel the event. So that was the free booking. Let me jump over to my booking types real quick. I've got a 60 minute booking here that is set up already. So if I just jump back down here, you can see that it is $100 chargeable via Stripe. So that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead then and grab that embed code. So I'll copy that code. I'll jump back to my Elementor website and I'll just replace the code that I had there for the 60 minute, for the 30 minute meeting and pop in the 60 minute meeting details. And then heading over back to the front end, you can see here that it is now different. And I can customize this as well in terms of width and how it needs to display, whether it needs to be on a pop-up or whatever. Here I've got the payment details. So let me go ahead and pick a date. I'll pick a time. And it asks me for pretty much the same information with the exception of the question. Yeah, there can be multiple questions here as you saw earlier and then just below that is the payment details so where the person can put in their credit card number um, and then click on book the event and that's it pretty simple tiny cal pretty cool tool very cheap um, i discovered it recently i've been using it for a while and it is fantastic so go ahead give it a spin try the free version and if you like it you know go ahead only 19 bucks go ahead and get the uh, the, the paid version from appsumo directly so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found it useful or helpful, please let us know in the description below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications and stay tuned for more great content. On top of this, I've put a few links to tools and services and plugins other than this one that I use in the description below. These, however, are affiliate links. And if you purchase a product through one of them, I will receive a commission at no additional cost to you, of course. And I only endorse products that I've personally used and your support helps me put out more great content. So thanks. Bye for now.